In this episode, let's have a look at the Smooth Q, which is a new gimbal for smartphones from Zhiyun. The Smooth Q is the next generation gimbal from Zhiyun for smartphones. We reviewed the previous generation, the Smooth 2. You can take a look at that review over here. Let's jump in and see what's new with the Smooth Q. Now, like most motorized gimbals, this has three motors that help you to smooth out your shots by mounting the phone in the harness, and then you can move the handle around and the gimbal compensates for all that movement. Setup on the Smooth Q is very straightforward. You put the phone in the harness and it is really just a spring-loaded harness. It grips the phone very securely with these rubber um, sort of inserts. And what you do is make sure that you push the phone all the way against the one side. You then loosen the thumb screw and you're able to move the one arm out to balance the phone. Once you've done that, you're all set to go. One note, be sure not to turn on your gimbal until you have the phone mounted in it. Otherwise, it'll start spinning around and potentially damage itself. Now, this next generation gimbal is actually very intelligent. In the previous generations, you had to kind of fiddle around a little bit and calibrate and fine tune the settings and things of that nature. On this one, I didn't have to do anything. I put my phone in, I balanced it by moving the arm back and forth until it didn't uh, automatically fall to one side or the other, and then I was ready to go and I haven't had any issues since. So very simple setup, very quick to get going. Jiyun will be releasing a new app at the end of March to work with this particular gimbal. And what that'll allow you to do is actually control the phone camera from the controls on the gimbal handle. So that's very nice because you don't wanna to be touching the, the phone while you're actually shooting because it just jostles the camera around and, and creates all that yucky jerky movement. In addition to that, the controls will allow you to zoom your camera and also to start and stop recording. Now the build of the Zoom Q is actually a polymer. It's a very smooth, high density plastic is what it feels like to me. The you know, that, some people may see that as a downside, but I actually see there's an upside to that as well. The weight of the gimbal is very light. It's only 450 grams or just under one pound. So the advantage that brings is that it's much easier to hold it for an extended period of time if you're gonna do a long shoot. The handle is a slightly softer plastic, but it is shaped in a really nice way that makes it easy to hold on to. It's a little bit larger than some of the others, which sounds strange, but that's, it's actually more comfortable because your fingers can wrap around it and that also makes it easier to shoot for longer periods of time. There are just a few controls on the handle of the gimbal. There is a switch that allows you to zoom once the app is available at the end of March. There's also a joystick that allows you to pan and to tilt the camera on the gimbal itself. There is also a power button, of course, which will also double as a record button once the app is available. And there's also a mode button, which allows you to switch between the various modes. One thing I really like about Zhiyun's gimbals is that they always put a threaded quarter 20 port on the bottom of the gimbal, that allows you to attach it to a tripod or a monopod. And in fact, one of my favorite ways to use these motorized gimbals is actually to use a monopod attached to the bottom of the gimbal, which then allows you to use the entire assembly like a crane. And crane shots can be really nice for establishing shots for films, and it just adds a lot of dynamic movement that looks really, really nice. There is also a face tracking feature. This will be in the new app, but it also works in the old app if you do happen to get the Smooth Q before then and it works just like it did before. It actually does a very nice job tracking your face and keeping you in the frame. In the new app, it's supposed to be even better from the standpoint that you get to select what it is you want the camera to track rather than just turning on face tracking. So this looks like it'll be even nicer. The Smooth Q comes with an inbuilt battery that is not user replaceable, and Zhiyun claims that it will last up to 12 hours. I'm actually six hours in on my first charge, and it's still indicating that it's fully charged with four flashes, so obviously it's run down some, but it seems to be tracking very definitely towards 12 hours. One really nice feature on the Smooth Q is that you can actually charge it while you're using it. So if you have a USB brick, you can actually attach that to the micro USB input on the side of the gimbal and continue shooting. You can also charge your smartphone while you're shooting from the gimbal battery itself, which is a really interesting feature. So you use the USB-A port at the bottom of the handle, connect that to your phone, and you can charge your phone when you're in between takes. Now, like any other gimbal, you can't just toss your camera in the harness and start running around and giving no thought to technique whatsoever. You're still gonna get some jostle. It can't compensate for all that. It's very, very good. Uh, it works very nicely, but there's still a little bit of a technique. And what I mean by that, for example, if you're walking, I generally find that holding the handle about 45 degrees to the ground gives you the smoothest footage when you're walking. You also need to kind of smooth your walking out a little bit. Get down into your knees just a little bit and walk carefully and uh, do your best to smooth things out, also keeping your arm a little bit loose. And that generally results in the best and the smoothest footage. 
Now, all the shots I did here were with my iPhone 7 Plus, which is the larger iPhone. And the larger iPhone on its wide angle lens has optical image stabilization. And what I'm really happy to report is that that didn't interfere with the gimbal. It worked together quite nicely. I also switched to the telephoto lens, which is not optically stabilized. And I was really delighted to find that the gimbal does a very nice job stabilizing that as well. That is a very really hard thing for a, for a gimbal to do because as soon as you use a longer lens or a telephoto or you know, a zoomed in lens, that gets harder to stabilize, but the Smooth Q did a very nice job. The Smooth Q has three different operating modes. The default mode is called pan following mode. What this does is that as you move the gimbal to the right or to the left, it will slowly compensate for that movement and pan that direction, but it won't tilt up or down unless you specifically tell it to do that with the joystick on the control handle. Second mode is locking mode. This is a mode that I use actually quite a lot as well, especially when I'm doing those crane shots with a monopod like I described earlier. The locking mode actually keeps the phone camera pointed in the same direction no matter which way you move the gimbal. And this works really, really well for those crane shots. The final mode is the pan and tilt following mode. This is very much like the pan following mode, except it also adds tilt. What I mean by that is if you double press the mode button, it puts you in this pan and tilt following mode. Then as you turn the handle right or left, the camera gimbal will slowly follow and pan right or left, but also the same thing when you point the gimbal up or down it will slowly compensate and point the camera up or down. Now, one question I received quite a lot in the previous review with the Smooth 2 is, can I add accessory lenses and things of that nature? And the answer is, yes, you can potentially with the Smooth Q. It has good strong motors and it can handle a payload of up to 220 grams, which is approximately one half pound. So as long as your phone and any add-on accessories are still under that limit, you should be good. That's gonna include a lot of the accessory lenses you can add to your camera. One other question I got a lot of, can I shoot video in vertical mode or vertical video mode? And the answer is, yes, you can. It works just perfectly with the Smooth Q. Lots of people are seeming to want to do more of that because of the live streaming services. And you can certainly do that with the Smooth Q. It works beautifully. Smooth Q also comes with this neoprene case for carrying and storage. And it comes in at $139 US or 149 Euro. So it's very, very competitively priced and also comes with a one year warranty. So there's an overview of the Smooth Q from Xiaon. Nice little gimbal for your smartphone. If you have any questions, go ahead and leave those down below. If you've not already subscribed, make sure you do that. We'll be sure to get you more great videos on how to improve your lighting and sound for video. Talk to you soon. Mm -hmm.